bus trip. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. <laughs> Children! <laughs> Children, attention please. Let's check that you're all here. Peppa and George. Here. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Here. Susie Sheep. Here. <laughs> Zoe Zebra. Here. Danny Dog. Here. <laughs> Emily Elephant. Here. <laughs> Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony is not here. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind, you're just in time. All aboard! Hey. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Children, attention please. Today we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunch box? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Let's swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus! You can make it! Come on, bus! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view! Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains, like this. Yodeling! 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 Hit him! Yodeling! Yodeling! Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me! <laughs> home time! All aboard! It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. Please, please, Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Project. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. 
That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Huh? Please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <coughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! Yes, yes! Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No! Daddy, we need that box. Look what I've got. Great, that's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. 
Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. Me. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh, thank you, mummy pig, for agreeing to jump. From an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <gasps> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! No, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Oh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Masks! It is the start of another day at Pepper's Playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <gasps> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. 
Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Grrr. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things glitter, you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh! Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you. It's me. <laughs> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Nursery rhymes. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh. Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me! Me! Yes, Pedro? 
Baba Black Sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey, doo 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 doo, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun, <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> Oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <coughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're on the up, they're up, they're not, they're up or down. <laughs> <laughs> that was good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. Bing the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Going to the zoo. <laughs> bing bong bing bong bing boom. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Today we will be meeting. Wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow. Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Um. Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. 
Is it a whale or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Ah! Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. There, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star! That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <coughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No. I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Peppa. And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well... I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. 
Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grrr. It's very good, Daddy. <coughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <coughs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Oh, oh, I've never been so proud. Daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> the carnival. Pepper and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Hello Peppa. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No. That's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! It's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being boss. 
bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. How can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Potato. Thank you! I can get back to being the carnival queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three carnival queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. <laughs> Peppa loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. <laughs> Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George, and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy! What is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. But we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. <coughs> oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> George's new clothes! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Muddy puddles! <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. <laughs> George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> Hmm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm, what about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? Hooray! <laughs> George <laughs> likes his new clothes. <laughs> We're home! Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles Splish, splash, slosh, splish, splash With a big splash here and a big splash there Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Jumping up and down in muddy puddles Splish, splash, slosh, splish, splash oh. <laughs> George! 
George. You've got your new clothes all muddy again. Oh. You're one to talk, Pepper. Look at your clothes. <laughs> and you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. If we're going to get washed anyway, let's get even more muddy. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> OK. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. puff and blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. <laughs> Pretty bubbles in the sky. a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, oh, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ow! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! 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 Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! Ow! Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my goal. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Soft clay. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party. As long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide and play. This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> My goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> oh, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. We will rescue the grown-ups. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that tickles. <laughs> uh, hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Peppa, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Doctors! It is playtime for Pepper and her friends. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't 
Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro, I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say ah. Uh... Ah. You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. <gasps> a pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm. Its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tortoise, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. Tiddles, you little pickle. What have I said about climbing trees? Will he be OK? Yes. Let's just flip you over. There. Good as new. Hooray! That was an interesting technique you used there. Standard procedure, really. It is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, everyone. I heard there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth OK? Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. I'll be on my way, then. <laughs> oh, dear. Dr Elephant's car won't start. Do any of you doctors know how to fix a car? Um, no. no. I know who to call. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Trouble with a car? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Try the engine. Hmm. <laughs> Try it again. There. Good as new. Hooray! <laughs> Granddad Dog is a car doctor. <laughs> there are doctors for everything, even cars. <laughs> Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madam Gazelle. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? 
That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear. My poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Fuzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Ah, ah! You've got bats, Madame Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well... <gasps> Eventually, it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. Move to music. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. OK. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro, 
Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvelous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music. It was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and, me. and me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> this way! Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music. Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy, the boat is rocking about. Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! de la roue! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> oh, oh. What would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. 
the Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is measuring Pepper. There, Pepper. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Pepper. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall. So you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two. While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> Let's play ball! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. 
To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Peppa. Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh, no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! no! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball! Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall. I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster, the vet. <gasps> you naughty tartars! Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Our hamsters always taller than giraffes. Um... I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. Hello. Hello. Mummy and Daddy Giraffe have come to collect Gerald from Playgroup. Wow. You're as tall as the sky. That's because we're giraffes. And my mummy and daddy are very, very old. <laughs> London! Peppa and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace, where the Queen lives. Hello? Please, can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I am the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> The bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. 
Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Pepper. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. 
But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, Wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, Do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Pepper is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Peppa. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Pepper. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. <laughs> wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please! OK, hop in! <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Ho, 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 you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. Ah, 
It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Once upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Pepper, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragging some fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <gasps> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes. Ho, ho. 
You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> the ambulance. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today Dr. Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. 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 <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brown Bear? Can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, Nina! <laughs> First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Whoops! Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> 
Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes, the tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry, the water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. My little ones, did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone loves sailing. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa? Man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? 
What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? It's an alarm of the sailing club. Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself. You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that boat. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's the... all right, then. Ah! Nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me! Me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever. Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats Help. can't sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in! Here we go! Grandy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boy! We're towing the boats to shore! We're towing the boats to the car park, towing the boats to be parked! I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, old Bean. You're very welcome, old bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> Susie goes away. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Let's play in my room. I'll be the princess. And this is my plastic crown. I want to be the nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> I've got a secret. What is the secret? My mummy has got a new job. And we're moving to a new house. Wow. Mummy, Mummy! Susie's going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs>
It sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <coughs> oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh, oh. will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Peppa. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Peppa. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Peppa? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going-away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. It is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> We are both a bit bossy. <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait. <coughs> I made you a going away card. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh. You can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> Molly Mole. Peppa and her friends are going to playgroup today. Aho! Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil. Hello, I'm Molly Moore. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Peppa and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy. <coughs> can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? <coughs> I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. <coughs> but this is Rebecca's house. <coughs> Rebecca Rabbit lives inside the hill. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is 
is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you like your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Pepper. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Pepper. Hello? Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here... Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh. Hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. It's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me any time you want. <laughs> yes, and you can come and play with me any time you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak! Yes, please. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. <laughs> Christmas. It is almost Christmas. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? <laughs> Peppa will be the Christmas fairy. I want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> now, you can all practice your parts. <laughs> It is the next day. Peppa and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look! It's Father Christmas! Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello, it's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa! Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes, we are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse and Danny is you. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Will you come and see our play? Uh, I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please! I will do my best. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre, and he didn't tell me. Oh! Pepper and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look! It's Father Christmas again! 
Hello. And who might you be? Peppa. <coughs> you haven't forgotten. Forgotten? No, no, no. Good. So, you will come to the play. Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy. Ho, ho, ho. I am Father Christmas. <laughs> Nurse, and I need to check if you are well. Say ah, ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. See your sleigh? Uh, well, I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true, I am very busy. But of course, you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park. Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, go! This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa! Let's do a loop the loop. Uh, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. 